In today's tutorial, we're going to work on the cozy cowl cape. This is very much like a poncho, and that's what we're going to do next. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host, Mikey. Today we're going to work on the cozy cowl cape. This is very much like a poncho. It comes as a straight piece straight down. It kind of angles out and it's got a beautiful, beautiful turtleneck collar on this thing. I really, really love the design and I love the simplicity. So this uh, particular pattern comes in two different sizes. Extra small all the way to large and then extra large all the way to five extra large and it has the ball counts and we'll be talking a little bit about that in today's tutorial. So her hands just are slightly underneath. If she needs to raise them, it just raises up. It's very much like a poncho and I think this is pretty stylish using Karen Simply Soft. So let's go through a little bit of the pattern first and let's uh, begin to decipher what we have to do today. So let's look at this pattern more carefully. What we have here is that you'll see that there's digits in red and gold. So what's gonna happen here is that you have to refer back to here and this extra large to large is all in the red digits here and the extra large to five extra large is in the gold. So whenever there's a decision to be made, so it says chain 72, well you change 72 if you're doing the extra large or, or sorry the extra small to large and then if you're doing the extra large five extra large you'll follow the gold. Every time there's a decision to be made, it will show you the difference. So for example, round two, it doesn't matter what size that you're working on. There's no decision to be made. You just follow exactly what it shows. So you see a lot of extra uh, red and gold, red and gold. That's because it's showing you that decisions are being made as you go. So it's only one pa piece of paper. It's only one pattern. It works out pretty easily. You're also gonna need ball color. So it, su it suggests four colors and so it has those in order. So you'll need two balls for the top here if you're doing the extra large, extra small to large and then one ball, one ball and two. So this looks smaller than these two. Why is it two colors here? Well it's wider so it takes up more yarn that way. So you can see it's kind of tapering down in order to create the look. Of course for the extra large to five extra large you're gonna need more yarn. So there you'll therefore you'll see a difference of the ball counts in order to work it out. I'm gonna be changing up my colors today. So where do we need to start? Well we're gonna start with the collar. Let me explain a little bit about that. So we're gonna start with the collar first and you'll notice that it's a ribbing effect because we're using front post and back post double crochet when we go to do this. So we need to start this off in a way and when the model is wearing it, it's gonna fold down and come down like a turtleneck so it almost folds in half. It's a massive collar. It's 13 inches tall. So all you have to do is start off the collar and just continue to follow the pattern uh, row after row and you're going to notice that the seam line is a little bit more bigger than the rest of it. It's not a deal breaker. Of course you can leave that in the back of your project as well. And so you're gonna see there's a slight difference. Use these slip stitching has a visual difference anyway. But you'll notice throughout the whole thing it looks pretty consistent and uh, I think it looks really good. Now I have to tell you I'm gonna be very transparent with you. This collar takes a while to do. So I was binge watching on Netflix the other night and uh, doing this and it's gonna look great and sometimes Rome isn't building in a day and you have to consider that this project is one of those ones that I think it'll be a fashion accessory that you'll love but you have to put the time into the collar in order to make this really give it the pop that it deserves. So let's uh, begin to do the collar and we're gonna do the extra small to large size in today's tutorial and then you can just substitute the gold information for when there's a decision to be made. So let's start off and I'm gonna show you the color in a different color because uh, this is a difficult color to see on camera and it's actually really quite easy. It just matter doing it. So as promised I'm using a different color so you can see it here a lot easier and I'm using a H size five millimeter crochet hook as it calls for and you should be using Karen Simply Soft for this yarn today. This is a premium acrylic. You'll notice that it will drape really quite nicely when the model is wearing it or when you're wearing it and because it's premium it really does look amazing and it's got a nice little luster to it as well. So I'm just substituting with Bernat Super Value just to as being transparent to you. So we have to make the color and it says with A which is the color A says chain 72 if you're doing the extra small to large and then chain 80 if you're doing the other size. So I'm just going to just create a slip knot and I'm just gonna show you a very small example because my collar is already done and uh, I knew the collar would take me a while so I did it off camera so that I could do it but let me show you. So you're gonna chain 72 or 80 and so I'm just gonna keep it in an even number so I'm just gonna say 16. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So you'll go to what it's asking you to do. So once you get that done, what you have to do is that you gotta make sure you don't twist up your chain, but you just have to insert your hook into the beginning, like so, 
and yarn over and pull through and it creates a center ring like this. So this would be your entire color if it was actually done properly in the, in the right uh, dimension. So let me take you to round number one. Very very easy. This whole color is really quite easy. Just gotta follow along. So let's begin round number one. Round number one is just a foundation to get you started and then round number two is gonna be over and over and over until you get your 13 inches tall. So you're gonna chain up three which counts as a double crochet and then in each one of these I would suggest going to the back of the uh, hump of the stitch and you need to double crochet. Once you do the first back one the rest of them will stay turned over on you. The rest of the chain will stay turned for you and then you'll have a nice little look edge. So you're just gonna move around this of one double crochet into each going all the way around. So I'll leave you to do that and you have a bigger sample obviously in your hand right now. So do that and then just meet me back here and I'll show you what to do next. So once you go into all of the chains all the way around you're going to then slip stitch to the top of the beginning chain three that you had started with. So that's what it will look like. Obviously your collar is gonna be much bigger than this. So this is probably for Barbie size really. So let's begin row number two or round number two and this is going to be um, the total um, what you need to do for the remainder of this collar. So in order to start a round you have to chain two. It counts as a double uh, a half uh, sorry a half double crochet. So it's telling you that in the pattern and it says double crochet front post around the next stitch. So you come to the next one here and you just come around into the side, pull through and then pull through two and two. So that's a front post double crochet. The next one is gonna be a back post double crochet. So wrap the hook coming from the back side through the side and then back out and then pull through and this. Okay this is creating or creating a rib look. So the next one's a front post double crochet and the next one is a back post double crochet. And you're just gonna keep alternating back and forth until you get all the way around. Just like so. So what I'm gonna do is I'll leave that with you and I'll show you what to do at the very end of this round and then we'll just review one more time on what you need to do and then I'm gonna leave you, you to do your 13 inches tall and then we're gonna move on to the rest of the tutorial from that par uh, part of the progress. So continue to do front post double crochets and back post double crochets all the way around. So the very end of this round kind of looks unusual. So do you see that this is the chain three, this is the chain two. Okay so look at the two rows. So the last stitch is gonna be a back post double crochet. See how this is front and this is front? This last one has to be a back post uh, double crochet around that chain three that you'd started with before. So this chain two acts as a builder. It doesn't really act as anything else. It's just more of a builder than anything and then you just slip stitch to the top of the beginning chain two like that. Okay? So this allows you to keep it in balance. So to move up to all the rest of the rows you chain two and it really doesn't count as a stitch but you come into the first one and you match it. So this is a front post double crochet so you match it and make it the same. Front post double crochet. The other one is a back post double crochet and it's very obvious that it's sunk back and you just have to match exactly what you see. So you don't really have to think about it too much. You can watch television, do your entire collar and then you have a good time. So I'm just gonna review once again what happens at the end of the round and then I'm gonna leave you to do your 13 inches. So when you come all the way back around, so you got the front post double crochet. So the chain two and this is the back post, uh, it's supposed to be for a back post. So what I just do is I wrap the hook and I go around. I get that chain two in there and I just go right through it and then just finish it off with the back post double crochet and then just join it to the top of the beginning chain two like this. So you're gonna notice it's gonna open up just slightly but if you look at the pattern here on the original when I did it, it does the same thing. So it starts off kind of closed and then it kind of just uh, settles and relaxes and then just goes out for the entire thing. So what I want you to do now is just continue to go round and round, get your 13 inches done and then we'll meet back here and we'll start the body of this. So by now you should have your collar completely done up to 13 inches and do not fasten off. Just keep on going and what we're gonna do is that we're gonna start on with the body here. It says chain two at the beginning of the round does not count as a half double crochet. So it's gonna be a builder then as we go along in this entire pattern as we go. 
So what we're gonna do is work step by step here and just follow the instructions and you'll notice that it's gonna actually work out pretty good and it's all gonna be half double crochets from what I can see here but it may change. We'll, ha we'll have to figure that out but you know the collar will not obviously get around your body so you're gonna have to do a bit of an expansion and we're gonna be doing that incrementally as we move along. So what we have to do then is that we have to continue along right where the collar is so it's do not fasten off your collar. We wanna continue the same color and we're gonna use that color then to continue. So working on the existing collar we're gonna chain two and that doesn't count as any stitches at all. Okay it's more of a builder. So your stitches are already there. You have your front post uh, double crochets and your back post. So those are just all one stitches each. So it says one half double crochet. So it says two half double crochets in the next stitch. Okay so this is the front post double crochet. So we're going to then put in two half doubles into the first one. You're gonna have to get used to doing half doubles because you've been doing uh, doubles uh, all this time. And so now it says do one half double crochet in the next eight and then repeat from the asterisk which means that there's two. So this is just saying that the next eight are going to be half double crochets. So one and two, three, four, five, six and seven and eight and then it says to repeat. So the next one is gonna be two half double crochets again into the same stitch. So one and two. So that's the repeat pattern all the way around. So the next eight by itself and then two into the next and please do that all the way around. So I'm coming all the way back around and if your stitches are right in the count we just have to just watch for that and your last one should be the final eight here is because the next one here has two in a row. So the chain two doesn't count as anything so we want to slip stitch to the top of the first half double crochet and not to the chain two so that it does shift over. Don't do what I just did there. I went into a gap. I wanna go right into it, the top of the, the first half double crochet like so in order to pull it closed like that. So let's move along to round number two. So in round number two we're going to incrementally increase and we're gonna continue to increase and I'm going to take you through what this pattern is showing you to do. And so the next one here we have chain two doesn't count as anything and we come into our first stitch uh, that we're a part of. Okay which is the same stitch that we're part of right now. Okay and because we had and the reason for it I'm gonna explain this. We joined it to the top of the first half double crochet like so. Okay so that just makes it th that your that is the first one here. So we want to come into the next half double crochet that's available to you and you wanna put two half double crochets into there and this time instead of going eight in a row by itself you're going to do nine. Sorry that I was kind of fumbling there. So this is two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So now you got nine in a row and the next one then will have two half double crochets into the same one. But I wanna point out something to you. So when we did our first one here, okay, what you noticed is that we put in our two half double crochets into the very first one here, okay, and you'll notice that it's here as well. So this is what it looks like for the repeat pattern. So you're gonna do nine in a row, then two, nine in a row, and two. Please do that now and I'll see you back here in just a moment. So once you get row two done you're just going to join it to the top of the first half double crochet that you had started with and begin to move on to row number three. So I'm going to show you the incremental um, increases in just a bit but number three is just starting off chain two. Remember it doesn't count as anything coming into your next stitch is that you're going to put in two half double crochets and then this time there's going to be ten half double crochets by itself and then two, ten and two. Please do that all the way around for round number three. So just coming all the way back around on round number three and that I'm just going to join it. So I need to take a quick break here. I need to figure out some math for you because it says to continuously increase now until you get to a certain amount of stitches. So what we just did last time is that we went 10 in a row and then two, 10 in a row. So then the next one we're gonna go 11 in a row and then two. So it says continue as established increasing eight half double crochets evenly spaced until there are 144 half double crochets all the way around. So right now we're currently at um, a total of, of what's it say as a 96. 
So what I have to do is I say we're at 96 and I have to add 8 and then that will equal 11 stitches in a row and then I have to do another one again. So I have to keep going like this and I have to keep figuring it out on how many more rounds I need to do in order to make this work. So I'll be back in just a moment. Let me get my calculator and my math and I'll tell you how many more rounds you need to do. So I'm back. So I figured out the math. I had my trusty calculator, cell phone of course. And so right now we've already finished with 96 stitches in a row and of course this is for the extra small to large size. And so then we went 10 stitches in a row and then we went 2. And then 10 and 2. So I figured out that we need in order to get to 144 we have to do 6 more rounds. So the next round will be then 11 stitches in a row and then 2. And then the next one after that will be 12 in a row and then 2. And you're gonna continue to progress. You will start off the exact same way where you're going to chain up 2 to begin and then you're gonna do your half double crochet uh, putting 2 into the next one and then, then continuing along with the sequence like you already have. So I'm gonna leave that for you now and I'll be back here after 144 and then the pattern's gonna relax. So we need to get this wide to get out to the width of the shoulders and we need to continue that progression and that's why we're doing it at this point. So I'll see you back here when this is done. So I'm back and now I have finished doing the ones for 16 in a row and then uh, to 16 and 2. So here's where I am. So let me show you where I am on the project here. So I had my little sheet and you will notice that I checked off as I went. Now you can do this for yourself because I went further on in the instructions to see what I need to do for the charcoal color which is the top color of the poncho. So what I'm gonna have now is the next three rounds I put one, two, three are just gonna be one half double crochet into each and then after that the next round will be 152 um, stitches so you'll have to do 17 in a row and then two and then the next three rows one, two, three will be a half double crochet and then finally the next one is 160 stitches and in order to get that it's 18 plus then two. So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna work now for one, two, and three. It's just a regular half double crochet into each. Let me show you just to get started and then I'm gonna leave that for you to do for one, two, and three. Okay, for the next three rounds you're just gonna chain up two. Remember that does not count as a half double crochet. It's, it's um, a more of a builder and so then in each one of the stitches going all the way around I need you to put in one half double crochet into each and then when you get all the way around just slip stitch to the top of the first half double crochet and continue to do that and do three rounds of just one half double crochet each. I'll see you back here when I have that done and then we'll continue to move on. Okay so here's where we are now. I just finished three rounds of half double crochet and I'm checking it off on my list. I always put circles around whenever I check things off when I do it like this. So in the next round and then the rounds after that I'm going to tell you about these and then I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna come back after 160 here. So the next round what's gonna happen is you're gonna chain up two, two into the first one and then 17 stitches in a row and then two into the next. It's just like you were doing up here. You're just gonna do it again. That's only for one round. Then you're going to for another three rounds do half double crochets each and that will be it for that and then you're going to then do another increase and, and it will be 18 stitches in a row and remember it's chain up to two half double crochets in the first then 18 and then two, 18 and then two. So this is where I'm gonna leave you at this particular point here and then this charcoal color that I'm working on now is done. So we're gonna then move on into the project. So this will be the end of this color here and we're gonna move on to the next. So I need you to do this row here of increasing and then four, uh, three more rows of half double crochet regular and then one more of increasing and then this color is done and then we're gonna move on in today's tutorial. So now I'm ready to finish off this final color here and this is the top area and all I'm just gonna do is just trim my yarn and I am just going to just let it, just weave it in and out, okay? So I like to, to do that when I'm uh, changing my yarns. It just makes it more stable for myself. I get a little paranoid that knots come undone. So that's what I do. I'm just kind of just casually just putting it in. So I'm gonna start the next uh, color and I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. I'm just going to create a slip knot first. And again, it's more for security reasons. And right where the other yarn stopped, right where you're doing the building, that's where exactly you have to go. Okay, so what I'm just gonna do is right where we stopped, this is the chain uh, top of the first one here and I'm just going to attach it with a slip stitch 
chain two which is your builder and then you're just gonna continue to go in the pattern. So all I wanna do now is that in this particular uh, example is that I'm gonna show you on the pattern now where we are and I'm going to show you um, what you need to do for the remainder of the project because right now it's just incremental increases right into the very end and uh, let me pull that up for you. See how I'm weaving this in underneath? It's just coming right underneath. I'm just making sure I get it there and then I don't have to worry about any tails at the end either. So when I come back I'm gonna show you my sheet that I'm working with and I'm gonna show you how to do the rest of it and then I'm gonna leave the project in your capable hands to be able to finish it right to the end from this point. Okay so here is my sheets that I'm working with. This is exactly what's happening in the pattern but for myself I like to simplify and when I'm teaching this is what I like to do anyway and even if I wasn't teaching I would still do it this way because that's just how I operate when that's how I learn. So what we have here is that we've just now changed our color and we are going to do right here. One, two, three. So those are uh, one, two, three. Those are three rows of just half double crochet in each. It says that this is the next color from here all the way to here. Then after you finish that this one here is 168. So these are the stitch counts remember and in order to get that it's it's uh, chain two, two into the first one and then 19 by itself and then two, 19 and then two. So you're just gonna continue. So you get another three rows, one, two, three and then another increase, one, two, three and then another increase, one, two, three and then another increase and then this color is completely done. So once you get that done you're gonna then shift up here and you can take a screenshot. I'll try to keep my hands out of the way as much as possible. So the next color you're gonna start off with one, two, three just like you did over here. See the consistency? It's one, two, three and then the next one it's 200 stitches and in order to get that it's 23 then you have that and then two. So then one, two, three and then continue. Do you see the increasing here? So I figured out the math for you looking at the stitch. This is the extra small to um, large size and uh, this is just how it works and you can do the same principle for the other size if you wanna do it this way as well and the amount of rows it just uh, is pretty much the same. It's just you'll have a different uh, stitch count at that point as well. So actually you know what I don't know if the rows are that same. It could be actually a bigger be a bigger uh, drop. So don't uh, rely on me for that advice for that particular one that particular size but this is So here are my notes and right where I left you here we just changed the color here and now we're about to start four or uh, three rows of one, two, three. See just one, two, three rows. So one, two, three and then the next row is then 168. So do you see that the incremental are increasing by eight as we continue in each round. So this will be 19 stitches in a row plus two. So remember how you start chain two, two into the first one and then 19 by itself and then two into the next. That's how you're gonna do all these increases. You then got another three rows of just regular half double crochet then an increase half double crochet rows again another increase and half double crochet again and then the final one here this is the end of this color here in my case it's burgundy. We're then gonna move up here and again new color the first three rows are gonna be all half double crochet and you're gonna increase incrementally all the way to this point here and then the final color is just three rows again to start and then uh, increase three and then increase and keep doing that and you finish here and these stitch counts that you see here are really relevant in the pattern. So if you wanna follow the pattern you can do so or just take a screenshot of what you see on the screen right now and then you can just use this as a checklist because that's how I do uh, my particular items as I go. So it's just a matter of keeping yourself organized uh, throughout the entire process in order to make all this work. So I'm gonna leave the rest of this project in your hands now because the reality is you know how to increase, you know how to count from one to three and I've already got your stitches on how many you need to do in a row and so you're gonna have to finish that on your own and I guess that's it. So until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com and I'm gonna work on this project uh, off camera and then I'll post a photo when I'm ready on Facebook. Till next time have a great day. We'll see you.